during Holy Week this year, I had some time off of school and Ella came to visit. So we planned a week in Italy. We started off in Rome. We had tickets to visit the Colosseum, which was amazing to see after years of hearing about it. And then we walked down the main street in Rome to find some lunch. We needed our first taste of pasta and pizza, which was delicious. And then we continued to walk around and see some more sights. For dinner, we had some groceries at the Airbnb we were staying at and made some, not realizing they didn't have plates for us. The next day, it was raining again, but we didn't let that stop us, and we took a tram across the river um, to Trastevere, the other side of the world. We sat at a cafe for a while, walked around, popped into different churches and cathedrals. Is that comfy? Saw this sweet little dog sticking his head out the window. And I needed to try an arancini, a rice ball, a deep fried rice ball. This one had tomatoes and mozzarella inside, and Ella's eating pistachio gelato. Mm. some other things this cafe had. They looked amazing. And then that evening we took the train to Florence and had dinner at Atomic Falafel. Honestly this was probably the best meal we had in Italy. The falafel was so good. We walked around that evening, went to see the Duomo, and I got some macarons. And then the next morning we woke up, I thought that was the Duomo out our window and then I looked at a map and realized it wasn't. But we did have this leather market right outside our window which was cool to walk around. Um, so we walked to get coffee in the morning, across the bridge. Ended up here, a place with great pastries, not so great coffee. We sat in red for a bit. I had a strawberry basil tart and that was really yummy. We walked around some more, headed towards Ponte Vecchio, the bridge. I had no idea that this bridge only had jewelry on it. Jewelry that was way out of my price range, but it was fun to look at nonetheless. While we waited in line to visit the Duomo, I stopped to get a cappuccino. To enter, it's free. And honestly, the outside is prettier than the inside. The best part was the dome, of course. And then Ella and I headed to our pasta making class that we had booked earlier. We learned how to make three different kinds of pasta. Tortellini, ravioli, and I forget the last shape but it was a flat noodle. The chef made ragu for us. Now make a nest. And we made ricotta pasta. And then we all sat around his table and ate together, drank some wine, while he prepared three different sauces for each pasta. This was probably one of my favorite parts of the trip. Later that night, we stopped for gelato and found a place with dairy-free gelato for me, so I had orange and chocolate. <laughs> and then the next morning, we ate breakfast on the terrace of our hostel. It was so nice to have. And then we headed to the Galleria Academia for our reservation to see David and all the other beautiful statues. Then we waited in line at this 
focaccia sandwich shop that we had been hearing all about and it was worth the hype. It was delicious. After picking up sandwiches, we brought them to Boboli Gardens, um, which was just a beautiful, beautiful spot across the river. Lots of hills, but it was nice to sit in the grass and rest and see some of the, the landscape of Tuscany. We were staying at the combo. Um, we got a private room, so it was more like a hotel for us. But this was an amazing place to stay out, out of the way of all the tourists in a quieter part of Venice, but very easy to walk to. And it was beautiful. We had a canal view. Um, our first day we walked around to the major sites. It was raining a little bit, and you can see here the palace is flooded a bit, like we've been hearing. There was these platforms to walk around, and a lot of people had these plastic um, bags over their shoes to protect them. It was pretty eerie to see. There they are. Um, after resting, we went out for dinner at Bar Pupa and shared this huge plate of shrimp and zucchini risotto, and it was delicious. The next morning we had breakfast in our room. Um, we read a lot this day, just stayed inside, because we loved our room so much. But we did leave to get some sweet treats. I tried a pastry. Pastry here. I think it was an almond tart of some sort. We went to this library. I found some great postcards. And there was a cat working the desk. It was pretty cute. Lunch at the air or lunch at the room as well. We stopped in the church that shared space with the old monastery that we were staying in. It was gorgeous. Walked around a little more. And then we finished our trip with dinner here. I tried a non-alcoholic alcohol sorts. And it was pouring rain, but we enjoyed our food outside and managed to stay dry. And that was an amazing trip.